Okay, video response four. We're gonna go Star Wars episode four, A New Hope. Um, the first start of a new saga in the Star Wars series, you first immediately get introduced to what is Luke Skywalker, the, uh, the son of Anakin Skywalker, um, who Sky, uh, Anakin Skywalker does not know he actually had a son. Um, he knows that Padme was pregnant. He didn't know he actually went through with the pregnancy and that it actually happened. So, we meet Luke. Luke, this random scavenger off of Tatooine, this planet that nobody has heard of. All of a sudden, Obi-Wan's there. Obi-Wan, who survived, end up surviving Order 66, um, ends up meeting up with Luke after years and years and years of watching over him. You see how Obi-Wan starts influencing him into what is the light side and the force and introducing him to what is his father, who is Anakin Skywalker, who is Anakin Skywalker, one of the greatest Jedi Masters of all time. And he learns more and more about it. We end up getting the first plot point, which is the um, the uh, Empire is building a huge, huge uh, planet-destroying building, basically, floating in space. And they end up getting the plans, and it ends up going to Obi-Wan. And Obi-Wan ends up needing to transport those plans to um, the New Hope, the Resistance, the... Um, New Jedi Order, almost. The Republic. Um, he ends up using Aunt Luke to go on this adventure. And you meet characters like Han Solo, Chewbacca, uh, 3P, 3PO, uh, R2-D2, and obviously Luke Skywalker. Uh, they end up going on this adventure, end up infiltrating the Death Star, which is the big planet-destroying building. And end up escaping it. But you see Obi-Wan um, pass away, or kind of fade out while fighting um what is darth vader or anakin skywalker um this is kind of like you kind of see like the force kind of get played into this where he disappears because he has reached a new level of force using and bending and it's just really cool to see like he ends up dying peacefully with his apprentice there and this kind of shows and builds up hate for Vader in Luke's eyes, even though it's his father and he doesn't know it yet. And I think it's really cool because you get to see more kind of play out in episode five, six, where that scene kind of infiltrates and plays with Luke's mind. And it's really, really cool to see. Now, is this a crazy movie? Not really. Is it choreographed good? Yes. Is the plot building? Yes. It's kind of like the first movie, um, The Phantom Menace where you kind of build up the theme and the plot and kind of learn morals from Luke's point of view and kind of see why Luke acts the way that Luke acts. Um, you end up having, you end up being able to see uh, Luke take down the Death Star at the end of the movie with the plans that they use. You see Luke the, have the first interaction with the Force. Um, Obi-Wan ends up talking through Luke at the end of the movie um, using the force which i think like as the holy spirit if that makes sense because you know the little voice in your head which is the you know holy spirit saying oh no that's morally incorrect you shouldn't be doing that or that little bit of guilt that you get after doing some, doing a sim that's kind of what obi-wan does and kind of goes through luke's head and says hey this is how you should do this and luke does it and ends up going good so i think that's kind of how like the force works as the holy spirit um, but I think that this is just a building movie. It's really, really good. Uh, you get to see character traits from Luke, like, um, persistence and kind of this passion to learn more about the force, which I think is really, really cool. Um, there's a lot of biblical principles. I still think the force is a very, very, very good, uh, way to look at, um, sin and, uh, the Holy Spirit and how to look at the church. But yeah, really good movie, would definitely recommend and